El Ido Park. That's how dogs talk. Quito, Ecuador. Ecuador. Frank. Yeah. What's your first impression of Quito when you first got here, the first day you went out? Well, Quito's a pleasant big city. It's a big city, but it's a pleasant big city because there's a lot of walking areas. Uh, and also there appears to be a, a central zone that's international in flavor. Uh, you know, I mean, there's just a lot of continental kind of uh, feeling to it, you know. Uh, not because of the McDonald's and the Burger Kings and the Kentucky Fried Chickens, but... Really? <laughs> just because of the, um, the different people, you know, that are there and uh, the modern uh, shopping centers. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, the, yeah. The modern, Those were... And it's not just malls, but the modern modern stores, you know, just really huge stores where you can get... Mega Maxi. Mega Maxi and stuff. And so. then you got a metro, you know, where you can... The metro <sighs> is, uh, is a bus that uh, is a kind of bus that's sort of a combination train bus. Wait. If you've never been to a metro in a big city, uh, and it, it, what it does, it cuts right through the town without having to go through traffic. It has its own lane, like a bike lane, and so you can get. I mean, Quito's huge. You can't you can't walk it. You get right. tired. And but with this metro, you can go from one end to the other in 10, 15, 20 minutes. It's amazing. And it's 25 cents. Parks where people are always out, uh, no matter what day of the week. So uh, it's very pleasant. <laughs> I mean, if a person likes big cities, you know, it's it's pretty pleasant, you know, as a big city. It's, uh, it's relatively clean. Uh, I mean, it is a big city. It's got its party areas that get dirty on the weekends, but they do sweep it up the next day. So it's, it's you know, and just like any big city, you just have to be careful. There's lots of people out, so. so. How would you compare Quito to Cuenca? What's your first thing that you would think of? Well, I don't is think there anything that would be that you could I compare? I don't think there's any comparison whatsoever. What Quito, about the historic district? Quito's a big city. Um, Quito's a big city like, uh, you know, it's, Metropolitan. Like, it's like comparing uh, Atlanta to uh, Dothan, Alabama or something. I mean, there's just no comparison. Okay. Or is it Dothan? I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just more, much more cosmopolitan. Uh, it's not stuck on one little center area like Cuenca. And, uh, you know, there's just several parks, not just one, and they're huge. Um, and it's just a never-ending big city, you know. Well, there's a lot of foreign visitors from all over the world. A lot of foreign world. cities are. There's just a, a lot to do. There's, it's, you know, Cuenca, you go to downtown, you go to a couple of restaurants, cafes. The next day, you go to the same restaurant, cafes, you know, you see the same people, run into the same people. This is a big city. It's not, you know, there's so many restaurants, cafes, and you don't have to go to the same ones. You can. It's just, you know, it, for people that like big cities, it's a pleasant big city. Now, some people don't like big cities. Uh, however, the some of the negatives of big city are mitigated because the traffic situation. There's a lot of bike paths. There's a lot of walk paths, and with the metro, you really don't need a car in Quito either. It's more uh, of a of a bike city. It's a it's you know I mean it's a it's a bike city. You you'd want to I mean more than Cuenca. If is. you're comfortable with walking several Cuenca. miles a day, I suppose you could you could you know if you're comfortable with walking several two three four five six seven eight nine miles a day, <laughs> so. you know if you got the shoes for I it. I think that we've been walking at least four. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah four miles a day but, just walking uh, around different areas. But with a bike Quito. then if you're actually trying to get somewhere you know and there's bike paths so but uh, you know if you're if you're not into that there's a metro and buses and stuff so I think Quito is pretty pleasant it's got an excellent uh, setting right between a valley and the mountains are much bigger than Cuenca's so it's I think it's more picturesque than Cuenca it's much more picturesque than Cuenca uh, it's much more cosmopolitan. I mean, that's relatively speaking now, because it is, you know, still South America. But we still love but, Cuenca. I mean, we're not going to move to Quito or anything. We love Cuenca. Hey, we talking about I'm moving to Quito. <laughs> no, you're not. No, no, no. Nice. We really uh, like Quito. Quito's pretty, Cuenca. pretty pleasant for a big city in a South American way, and that people are out still and. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of outdoors and of course the weather's just pleasant. I noticed pleasant. it's still really family oriented here. The park it's the yesterday was packed with children and parents and teenagers and kids. So if I was a person that liked big cities, Quito would be number one on my list at this point. I mean, I would, I would say that Quito's a 
Quito's a place to live. If I like, if I wanted to live in a big city, it'd be Quito. Cuenca feels like a small town. When I mean, you look at the population figures, and it just doesn't really give you a sense of what it's really like to be in Cuenca. Even even if Cuenca is 400 or 500 thousand, uh, it it doesn't really feel that big. I mean, you go to a city that big in the states, it feels a lot bigger, way more spread out. But with Cuenca. It's got that little center right there, you know, a couple of roads, and and I mean, it's pleasant. It's it's, it's fine, you know. There's nothing wrong with Cuenca, but you know, big city lovers, Quito's the one. Quito's okay. the place. Okay. Well, thank you, Frank. We appreciate that.